It happened almost 20 years ago in New York, and the story is still unfolding today, but once you're caught up to speed, you'll understand why Rain Reynolds had a legitimate beef with God, and how God responded, proving once again that he is the most generous, wise, and loving God, without peer in the universe, and totally worthy of all trust and worship. I'm a guardian. Yeah, as in a guardian angel, but not the Curtis Sliwa kind, I have a very specialized job description. I oversee an exclusive order of angels assigned to the few people like Rain left on the planet. Because of the universal and historic significance of this story, I've invested many hours observing it, giving direction to Pops, the guardian I assigned to Rain. So, what I relate here is an exact eyewitness verbatim recounting of the events. When you're done reading, I hope you'll do two things. Establish or strengthen your relationship with Jesus Christ, and resolve it firmly in your mind now to reject the mark of the beast. Because as you will see, your resolve and that of the whole world will soon be tested, and only those who overcome will rule.